James against Porter, drives, spins, gets inside. It's good. It's 40,000 for LeBron James, the NBA's all-time leading scorer with another milestone as the legend of LeBron continues to grow. 40,000 points. A level to the game once deemed unobtainable. With all the great players the league had to offer, such as Kobe, MJ, Kareem, Shaq, Wilt, Karl Malone, Bruh. only one. Glorious LeBron Raymond James, standing at 6'9", 250 pounds, born December 30th, 1984 in Akron, Ohio, to one Gloria James has done it. Anyways, the topic of the video is, can another player reach 40,000 points? Or is LeBron truly one of one? The main two factors we'll be looking at are a player's career points, obviously, Bruh. and player's age. First, we'll look at aging superstar near the end of their careers, but are still producing at a high level. The two biggest names being Kevin Durant and Steph Curry, both being past the age of 35. Now, if we compare them to LeBron at age 35, we'll see that there's quite a gap to be filled. Durant was around the 27,000 point mark before turning 35. However, LeBron was at the same point before turning 32. Meanwhile, Curry was at the 20,000 point mark when LeBron reached that before the age of 29. Essentially, Kevin Durant would have to play until the age of 42. Bruh. Meanwhile, Curry would have to play until the age of 45. Bruh. And although both players are still producing at an all NBA caliber level, given both players injury history, I don't believe they'll reach 40,000 points. Moving on to current day superstars. The main three being obviously Embiid, Giannis, and Jokic, all being past the age of 29. Once again, comparing to LeBron before the age of 29, we can see there's quite a gap to be filled. With Embiid being at the 10,000 point mark, which LeBron reached before the age of 24, while Jokic is at the 13,000 point mark, which LeBron reached before the age of 25, and Giannis being around the 17,000 point mark, which LeBron reached before the age of 27. So essentially, Embiid would need to play until he's 44 to reach 40,000 points. But knowing his history with injuries, I don't think this will ever happen. Meanwhile, Jokic would need to play until the age of 43 to reach 40,000 points. Although he does have the playstyle to play for that long, I think most people would agree that Jokic wouldn't chase this record and would probably retire well before that. Leaving Giannis, who would have to play until the age of 41 to reach 40,000 points. This may actually be possible given the fact that Giannis is in peak physical condition and hasn't had any major injuries so far throughout his career. However, Bruh. given his style of play, which some people call run and dunk, it would be very physically demanding and I don't think it will be sustainable to play until the age of 41. So who actually has a chance? Well, we'll look at upcoming superstars player who have scored a high amount of points at a young age just like LeBron while also not having the injury history that some of these other players had. So who fits this criteria? Well I don't know Bruh. but using my doom I can tell you that the main five candidates would be Devin Booker, Jason Tatum, Luka Doncic, Anthony Edwards and Wembenyama. Now when we compare these five players with the early years of a young LeBron James we could see that only two of them really stick out. These two being Anthony Edwards and Luka Doncic. First, we'll look at Luka Doncic, who six season in has played in about 84% of all possible games, which is about 70 games per season. And since Luka is currently averaging 34 points per game, we'll just say for the next six season, he'll play 70 games and average 34. Then he'll go three more seasons with 70 games while averaging 30, followed up by three seasons of 65 games while averaging 25, followed with three seasons of 60 games while averaging about 20, followed up by two final seasons where he'll play 50 games averaging only 12 points. This would mean Luka would reach 40,000 points by the age of 41. Now we'll look at Anthony Edward who four seasons in has played in over 91% of all possible games or 75 games per season. Edwards is currently averaging 26 points per game, so we'll say for the next 4 seasons he'll average around 27 points per game while playing 75 games, followed up by a jump of 30 points per game while still playing 75 games, 
for the following four seasons, followed up by once again going back to 27 points per game for 75 games for three seasons, then followed by a decline to 70 games while averaging 25 points per game for the next three seasons, followed by another three seasons of 60 games while averaging 20, followed up by a final two seasons of 50 games averaging 12 points per game. This would mean Anthony Edwards would reach 40,000 points by the age of 42. Obviously, this is all hypothetical and nobody truly knows what will happen with these two players' future. However, I truly believe if these two players remain healthy through their entire career and there's no lockout season preventing them from playing the amount of games that I predicted they could, I truly believe that they can maintain the scoring production that I've predicted and they would one day join LeBron as the only players to put up 40,000 points. Right, so